Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about a question that I get a lot, and it's how do I size my standby generator? It's a very common question. I get it all the time, and it honestly is the first step in you know picking out the correct generator for your home. Uh, you know, it's not just a one-step process getting it you know picked out and installed and permits and things of that sort. But this is going to get you right on the right course. So let's kick it off. So here at Electric Generators Direct, we do provide a home standby calculator. You see my beautiful face right there. And in here, it's going to kind of outline, you know, some pertinent items that you need to know before picking out uh, the correct generator. So step one, we start with your square footage. Uh, you see it listed, you know, under 1,000 square foot and up to over 5,000 square foot. If you have over 5,000 square feet, good for you. But honestly, uh, you're probably going to want to get a load calculation done by your electrician. So today, I'm just going to go kind of middle ground. We're going to do the 1,600 to 3,000 square foot home. And we're going to do it in the beautiful town of Bolingbrook, where we're located. So next step, we're going to look at the central air conditioner size. Uh, most homes you're going to find, especially in this square footage range, you're probably going to have a single AC unit, but you can run multiple units. And if there are more than the two we have listed here, uh, then you're going to want to go down in here and we have you, where you can list uh, multiples. So, but today we're going to go uh, five ton AC unit, uh, only a single, and then we're going to move on. So step three, what do you want to power? Now, most people, they'll call me and they'll say, hey, I want to power my whole house. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but honestly, you're not going to want to buy a 48 kW generator to power your 200 amp panel because it's going to probably cost you somewhere in the $15,000 range when we can get you into something where you can live comfortably for about, eh, you know, $5,000, let's say. So um, looking at this, we're going to do a whole house setup. We've got a single AC unit. Uh, let's say we have a well pump, uh, water heaters, gas, uh, gas furnace, refrigerator, freezer. Uh, in this area, we do have sump pumps, other appliances, gas stove, microwave, dishwasher, you know, garage door. Uh, a lot of people do have electric dryers, but in this case, we have natural gas. So uh, computer, Wi-Fi. Uh, I wish I had a hot tub, but I don't. <laughs> uh, pool security system. Some people to have that. And let's just throw a pool in there. So this is just giving you a general outline of what you might want to use. Um, beyond that, if you're, there is something that's not listed, we do have right down here an add your own item. So you can put in you know, whatever might not have been listed here that you might want to run. And then it'll calculate that in. So basing it off of what I've put in here, I can hit see my suggested standbys. And it's going to give me a, a, quite a bit of an array, you know, three of them here, the top brands that we sell. Um, so just looking at the ones, we'll go with the Kohler here. We have the Kohler currently on sale right now, um, but you get a 20 kW generator. Now going through here, you can see uh, this one's capable of running two five ton air conditioners, as you can see right down in this area. So I've got plenty of power um, for my application, but Obviously, you know, not everybody's house is the same, and that's why we list all different options on there. Um, if you have any other questions on the sizing calculator or you'd like to, us to help you out in sizing a generator for you, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Thank you.